My name is Liz Olvera, and I teach third grade at Boyd P. Benavides Elementary. I was very surprised. Um, it was a very big surprise because I thought I was going in there so they could take a picture of me for Teacher of the Year for the school. <laughs> and then the superintendent told me, like, oh. <laughs> they were very happy for me. They were very happy, and I um, was very grateful to them for all the support that they've given me throughout the whole year. Uh, my mom, we used to work at the field, so she would always tell us, um, you don't want to be working out here in the summer, you need to make sure you get an education. Although she only went up to third grade and my father to the sixth grade, uh, they pushed for us to do better for ourselves. It's been difficult. Um, I have a big family. I have like eight brothers and sisters that's helped me in doing this and getting here where I'm at too with my three children that I have. Um, and they're older now. But back then, my support was my family. And then at school, I used to work at Miguel Carrillo Elementary as an aide for five years. And that's where I earned my associates and my bachelors. So they, they helped me out a lot too. The principals that was there, they were very supporting. Um, in going to school and having my kids, whatever I had to attend to. So the support meant a lot. Home, at home, at, as my family and my colleagues there. I talk to my students so I can get to know them. I try to relate to them where they're coming from because I also share my upbringing with them, saying that I was raised here at, um, in the West Side, Edgewood, I graduated from Edgewood High School. I can relate a lot to them. I have to say that my big support in being able to teach my, my, my students is my parents' support. Because without the parents' support, I feel I would have a very difficult time teaching the students and getting to know them and reaching them and how I can get to teach them. There's been several. Oh, there's one that stays in my mind. I um, taught a pre-K three child when I was going through my teaching certification. I rolled over with them and I taught pre-K four with them. And then I started the first two months with them teaching kinder. So I followed these students. There's one particular student that really touched my heart because it's like from discipline to learning how to just sit at the table and listen. It was a real, it was a great honor just watching him and how he grew. And being very attentive and he's ready to learn like the first two months of kindergarten. I got to see that how he changed from being a pre-K three to a kinder and he's actually ready to go because he's like wanting to get into those centers and play and learn. That, from there, it's always stayed within me in how these children will change within the years and how I always remind my students that they are our future. And I tell them what type of individual or career that they can have or they can be. And they really look at me and they're like, Ms. Olvera, do you really think that I can be a lawyer? Oh, sure you can. You got to try, you got to do it, you got to be. Uh, work hard at it because nothing, e nothing in this life is going to come easy. I would like to see myself actually be working as curriculum um, or a VP. Um, but I still want to teach for right now for the next maybe eight years. I want to be able to get more experience, maybe get uh, certified for middle school and high school and try those grade levels before I actually become an administrator or work in curriculum. I want to thank all my family in Benavides because from my principal, Ms. Orozco, Ms. Hassel, my VP, and all my colleagues around me that have supported me ever since I got there um, when I started working first grade back in 2009. They have been a very supporting family since I've been there. And if it wasn't for them, I would not have been able to feel at home and do the job that I do.